And welcome everybody here on Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some more Buried Sun Disc Mono Shirima. We're going to be playing Azir Renekton together this time. You might have saw the deck that we played a couple of days ago with Azir Nasus. I really liked the the uh, feel of that deck. That was That's my uh, updated Shirima list, but this one also looks really good. So this one um, we're going to be playing Renekton instead of Azir, because, man, Renekton can just hit really hard. If you have Renekton with some uh, different vulnerable cards that you have in Shirima, it can hit really hard. So this one's a, a viewer-submitted list to try out. Uh, Love Golden Ambassador, big fan of that card. We got one Strifening Strike in here, Siphoning Strike in here. Triple Quicksand, that's nice, because Quicksand's a card that's just been really overperforming for me. The three um, Aerophant to help level up that Sun Disc now that the Aerophant does the three rounds. Been happy with that. So yeah, so it looks good. Um, Hourglass for some protection. So let's give this version a try. All right, Demacia Tarkon. Mulligan. So Preservarium can you know start drawing cards on turn two. Is that really what I want though? Probably want to play to the board more. I like the quicksand draw, because like like that's something that you know, like turn one's always always difficult to deal with. Kind of the problem. Cause usually like so I'd want to like save spell mana turn one, save spell mana turn two, and so like whenever I play the arrow fan on turn three, I can have quicksand available. But with buried sun disc, we gotta get that in play right away. So we can't really save this the spell mana turn one and turn two. I will make that trade. So no dragons in hand right now. That's good to see. Screeching dragon. Not cool. Give them something to remember. Alright, so it'd be nice if we can wait till we have ten ten things before we play Azir. If we can. We live in hollow time. Ooh, got that allegiance. Play six more units, then play Azir, and then Azir will be leveled up, and that's ten levels. One of those is the Arrow Fans, that's like 13 levels, so basically we only need five more turns for this final countdown. <laughs> okay, so they just discarded a Charger to grab a Charger. The desert by my side. So I could pass here. They've wasted all this mana. Obviously, it's a good attack for me, but I kind of like them wasting all their mana. But that that does just help them like get to a really in soul though. So like this is a kind of a tough decision. I guess I attack. We'll see. I may completely regret this. Let's put him down to eight. It's not a lot of life. Yeah, and then they just reheal and get something good. Maybe I should have just passed. That was a tough call. I run a bloody path through Shurima. Right, so this is halfway towards leveling up Renekton. And also, like, as far as Overwhelm Attacker goes. Makes Overwhelm Attacker a lot better. You, over there. Let's go down to five.
I don't want to make it easy on them playing a really soul this turn, right? Like, so, like, if they want to, like, like, obviously if they have sharp sight and then a really soul, okay, you know, like, that's, that's unfortunate for me. But I'm not going to make it easy on them just to, like, take damage and then play a really soul. Sure. They still take a lot of damage. Okay. That's them using a lot of resources right there. Alright, so we're going to have Emperor's deck this next turn. Keeping the hourglass in case of another single combat, but no, that was that was good. You know, like they had, they did have the the way to to stop that Renekton, and then they did have two more champions. So I put pressure on them. That's all we can do. They've they've had a good hand. So Renekton won't just be level three to start with. Here will be. Emperor's deck. My okay, lots of options now. We just drew, what, five cards this turn? Play and round start, summon two sand soldiers, grant them plus two, plus two. That's not bad. Two mana burst, draw two. But let's see, if I want to play Herald is five, then Renekton, that's nine, so I have four other mana. So maybe I want like Exhaust plus Hourglass, and so maybe I don't want to do this Emperor's Prosperity yet. The sun is but Sharima, we too are awakened. Oh, do you not have... Okay, you just have... You... So this doesn't have the give them plus one plus zero anymore at level three. Okay. So yeah, we, we drew two cards from the Sun Disc leveling up. We drew like an Azir and a, and a Renekton from our from our deck for the Sun Disc leveling up. So that was two, and then we drew one from the thing we had in play. I am their end. Wait for me. Face your end. I don't think I attack with the Zier. Maybe I do though. And then I just hourglass the Azir. Cause like these two things can't block everything, so I assume they block the Azir, and so that, that means they're not blocking something else. Alright, cool. Now do. Lucian Azir. The Battle of the Aziers. So we're going to be going a little bit bigger. It's going to be about stabilizing. Are we able to do that? Spirit Fire can be nice. All these cards can be kind of nice, but let's see. So if I do nothing on turn one, nothing on turn two, Azir on three, Spirit Fire on four, like, is that too slow? They would have the attack. You know, because they don't have the attack token on turn. That should be fine. They only have the attack token on turn two. 
I'm definitely really glad they don't have it on one and three. So they have it on two, and then they have it again on four. And on four, when they attack, I spirit fire and kill their Lucian and their. Uh, I don't know. All their little birdies and grizzled rangers and stuff like that. Does mean I don't get to Sun Disk. Because if I go Sun Disk. If I go Sun Disk, I don't get to go turn 4 Spirit Fire, and I feel like turn 4 Spirit Fire is a necessity. The Emperor commands the land obey. See what we see. Dang, living life. The Seer's command. Lucian, Lucian. Yeah, yeah, I'm up. Hmm. Time to get rowdy. Sedition. I'm glad they didn't have Shapestone. Okay, now we start the game for reals. Big <clears throat> being able to kill that thing. This this worked out basically exactly how I was hoping, you know, whenever we kept our hand. It's all worked out. Really how we wanted it to. Guess I'll just play this thing. You would give me the allegiance of your city. You have given us something to believe in. Yeah, not a, not a lot of life. Not a lot of life. You're at six. Let's level up Renekton. Oh, did it not level up? I went to 11, not 12. Oh. I imagine they play something with four cards in hand. If they don't, I'd still have like the Azir's Arise. Okay, they do not. I probably should have just played this. You have not been forgotten. So I have two of these things. So I can either go quicksand and arise, or siphoning strike. I guess it's the strike because, well, I'd rather go quicksand arise, but that allows them to you know get like two of these sand soldiers in attacking if I do that. Well, that's probably game. We've got things to do. Why didn't they just They must have this this last card must be rally. That attack was not a good attack. That that has to be rally. 
Like, we have to be dead, right? Like, why would they make... Like, that was a... No? Alright, well, they just... They're just giving me a chance. Kind of for no reason. But no, yeah, that was that was definitely risky with that, that siphoning strike. Like, that should have been a game-winning play. I've, I've definitely made mistakes, right? This, that siphoning strike wasn't great. The, the shape stone, I thought that was leveling up the Renekton. I guess I just... Math wrong. We do have two spirit fires in the deck. Which may be like my only out right now, finding another Spirit Fire. So, I'm gonna go with this. That doesn't help. Sharima, your Emperor has returned. Allow me to clear a path for you. No mercy! Stand down. Tell the people what you have seen today! What's up, Ebony Darkness? Emperor's deck needs more power? I'm not so sure about that. Okay, one and one. That is sub number four out of five. Civilizations always rise and fall. Deep. Yeah, it was the single combat one on that game. Without that single combat. I think we win that game fairly easily. That's alright. Alright, so Spirit Fire. That's gonna be gone. Azir gone. The desert by my side. Love that. Love seeing two Sea Scarabs go. Because, man, Sea Scarab is a great card. And Wanderer. Like, those are all three, like, awesome cards to have right away. So, good toss. Doesn't mean they don't have more of those kind of cards or anything like that. I'm saying, like, the, those, are the car those are the cards that I want to see tossed. So, good toss there. Give them something to remember. Is worth at least twice as much. Wait for me. I'm pretty hesitant about this trade. Fish out of water. I want it to happen, of course, because I'm holding Renekton. And I don't it's not worth like using Shapestone or anything like that just to save that and then turn it into just a one health unit. Alright, so because of another Jaw Hunters. Let's go with this. Drown in our cheers. Okay. Now, lead with Renekton. See if they play anything for me to exhaust. Or... Just have Rock Hopper plus his ear. Kind of maybe the better way to go. Rock Hopper plus his ear. That's not too surprising. What a shame for you. you need not follow, but you will witness. Destiny calls. Make it worth my while. In Shurima's name. Good draw. Get the trash! Eat the trash! <laughs> so 
stands beneath me and wins behind me. I don't even notice what did they toss. Um, salvage feast feast. Cool. All right, so they're out of feast. I like seeing that whenever I'm, you know, just played a rock opera. I'm glad they're out of feast. How good to serve the emperor once more. Let it help you remember who you once were. Challenge is here. So the right negation for protection. If I, I like playing this first to level up the Azir first. Um, you know, their plan is Nautilus. I like the ability to go wide and everything. It's not easy to level up Renekton. That was scary there for a second. We just need one more jettison to go deep. This so small, but she ain't lacking courage. Six out of twelve. Need you to be more. Probably quicksand. I don't know. So quicksand can get rid of the deep keyword to get like one of those things to not have the minus three minus three anymore. I guess quicksand. Because if I hourglass it, then they'll still have like the four one in play that I have to like get rid of on my attack anyway. So close. We're so close to leveling this thing up. Exhaust. Siphoning strike. It's a 5-3. So close to leveling up. You would give me the allegiance of your city. You have given us something to believe in. I need to do six damage and it can only do five. There you are. Why do you have so many of these? Stop. Oh, Jaw Hunters were creating devourers also? That must be nice. the ability to stop atrocity anymore so do I want I want atrocity to kill me or do I want to play around it because we try playing around it
need not follow, but you will witness. The Isles will bloom again. Because I, I basically I want this in play for whenever we go Sun Disk. I'd like to spend the mana on the Siphoning Strike, but I the only thing I can kill is just the 2-1, and it's just not worth killing the 2-1. I'm hoping for a bunch of like zero, one, two, three, and four mana units <laughs> that don't really matter. That doesn't matter that they can't, you know, to play them or not. Close your eyes and drift away. Well, that's a good one. The three are unrivaled. That's also a good one. We're one power on our Renekton away from this being a, a really different game. Would have had the Sun Disk two turns ago. Would have had a bigger, bigger Renekton. Would have had a much better attack. Or like this could have been a, a much different game. They did have turn seven Nautilus. They had triple Devourer Depths. Safety will cost you. <laughs> That's nice. You dream it, I'll build it. Sure. That's nice too. Follower. Some good enemy followers over there. Probably need to play that on an open attack. I have waited millennia already. Hold your horses. Go forth, make them they will pay their respects or die. This does mean that we get like round start. You know, this is a round start, get two three threes, which is nice against fearsome. Alright, higher gun. Yeah, so I knew they had, you know, they had the fleeting cards. It was good to just pass the turn and have them waste their mana. Cool. One atrocity gone. Because if they get, like, fleeting Nautilus, that's kind of bad for me with, like, the four mana start tucking stuff. Don't love that. I know I could just play a new Azir and just let this one die. It's not like Azir really does anything. I guess I just do that. I think I need to get rid of the Zevi. I could use oh, right. Maokai's about to obliterate my deck. So if I would have saved the Azir, then I could put the new Azir back into the deck. So I can have a longer... Game. That would have been a reason to save it. Gosh, because yeah, I have all these things that just say draw a card. Which isn't good when I only have three left. Oh, yeah, I should have saved a zero for that. I don't think, right? Or I guess maybe it does. Enemies are vulnerable. Round Star Rally. That card's good. Obliterate three enemy units or landmarks. No, I want that card. Sandstorm. I don't want the things that say draw cards. I don't want these things. Yeah, so like the bottom card's supposed to be something awesome. I don't remember what it does, but it's supposed to be something really good. All right, I think I'm going to just end round. They have, they have six fleeting cards right now from... Like all six of those are just going to get burned. So I think I just end round. I guess I could play a, this Renekton... I don't really care about this Renekton anymore. But I like that they're just burning all those cards. Wow, two of them were Nautilus Riptide? Of course, that's just one Nautilus, but... Alright, so one Nautilus... So there's only one other Nautilus left in their deck. No, are you... How do we draw the worst possible card? 
That is the worst possible card. Where I go, carnage follows. What? It, yeah. So I guess I don't. I. It would be nice if I knew what the what the OP card was. Yeah. So it's ten mana, right? Yeah. So I'd have to. So it's a ten mana card, and don't I need board space? Is it like? Isn't it like triple? What do they just play? Is it like triple field of rush? Like all three of them? Okay, so they just played Stalking Shadows that did nothing. So they have a Warning Shot. They still have my card, right? That they took with Warning Shot. They haven't played... They haven't played a card from my deck, have they? The problem with- I can't just attack with all followers because then we just die on the crackback. Like, then they just open attack and kill me. I can't really just do that. Like, I kind of need these sand soldiers to keep me from dying. From an open attack. So their their deck has two two Maokai, one Nautilus left in the deck. They're drawing either Maokai or Nautilus. The blessed Isles live through me. Yeah, and they're smart. They know about my what my top card's gonna be. They're smart not killing my Golden Herald. But I, I needed them to be able to block. I guess I was at 17. Maybe I didn't need them to block. Maybe I didn't need them. Man, this thing says Rally? Dude, that card's broken. This thing says Rally. <laughs> I draw that card. I drew it and I was like, what, rally? Well that makes that even better. Do you hear the call? Alright, so we know this card's either Maokai or Nautilus, and I'm pretty sure this is one of my cards. And it should be like an Emperor's deck card, right? Because they never played an Emperor's deck card, as far as I know. They stole one with the Yordle Grifter, but I don't remember them ever playing one. It may just be like the two mana draw two or something. Oh, okay, it wasn't a... It was just that. We'll be fine. We didn't we didn't need to save any of those. It's making the attack was was definitely worth it. Alright, level 3 Renekton, level 3 Nasus, let's get some movie going. Double level up Renekton. Because they're not going to be able to like block with stuff. But we're good. I don't get in his. What happened to my Azir? What happened to my Azir? Only gods remain. 
Oh, it's only Renekton and Nas Nasus? Okay, it's not triple Field of Rush. I guess I should read the card on it. So if I would have cast the three mana, make an ephemeral copy, then I would have just lost the game. Because then I would have just drawn a card and have no cards in my deck. So if I would have cast that card, I would have lost the game. So did not want to do that. All right, Lulu Z with Demacia. Yeah, I like it. I could see getting rid of the Aerophant, considering we have like a Z like, you know, maybe we don't need both three mana cards. Certainly like Quicksand against Zed. Shapes sound cool. Attack. The dark beckons. What a shame for you! What a shame for you. Men die, but Sharima lives forever. Watch me! I stand down. Our city proudly pledges itself to Sharima. I got backup Azir. Quicksand is just too valuable. We got backup Azir. And yeah, I guess I could've used Shape Stone to keep it as a 1-1. One, one. Meh. Like I said, I'm just gonna play the backup. I need to play ten units anyway. Do not fear the shrouded path. It's not the shrouded path I fear. The sun disk's light leads us into the future. Fight me. My best tunic. Plan sex school. Six seven. Nine. The desert by my side. We are pupil. My life for the order. One off. Watch me. You cannot escape. It was a risk by the opponent, but, you know, probably blocking with the Zed there, they're probably just in, you know, like, they're in such a bad spot. Okay. Noxus for the other region, for LeBlanc. Was Zoe really in soul? Setting up for a longer game. No Zoe. Oh, um, Spirit, yeah, Spirit Fire is not. It's not amazing. Our faith, our future in one symbol. Smoke and mirrors. See what we see. So you can you can play the deck without Spear of Fire. <clears throat> I think I prefer I think I prefer it as a one of more than two. Uh, I think playing zero, one, or two are all acceptable numbers of Spear of Fire. I definitely would not agree with three. But zero, one, or two. If you have a, a strong preference anyway. Any of those are completely reasonable. Always forward. Wait for me. I've got the reins. 
Okay, no, no pill cascade. Nope. Didn't really play around pill. That thing, Big Scary, with Spell Shield, so I'll play my own Big Scary thing with Spell Shield to try to trade. Sun disc is at sixteen. The slaughter will never end. He's with us. Zero's at six right now. I just hope they don't have single combat. I can't stop single combat unless I quicksand again. I really hope they don't have single combat. Not here, not now. A little respect. I wish I really wish I had one more mana also for quicksand. I get violent when I'm bored. Oh right, they're not gonna have single combat. That's a good point. So whirling death? Ooh, whirling death would be even worse for me than single combat. Right, I'm just so used to or Zoe really and Soul being Demacia. I'm sorry, I know that they even played LeBlanc earlier. <laughs> it's just so used to that. Ah, oh, Ravenous Flock. Oh. Just need to untap, have the right negation. Clips Dragon into Aurelian Soul. So good. Hello, Room Terra. Let's rock. Sharima, your Emperor has returned. Our blessed leader walks among us. You must be very. Yep. One away from leveling up that Azir. My, how they <laughs> Come on, Ancient Hourglass. Yeah, Ravenous Flock's a heck of a card. I have eight cards in hand. <laughs> it's crazy. It's like I've been drawing extra, right? Remember, I played Preservarium to draw two. I've been playing two Golden Ambassadors draw two. I have eight cards in hand, thanks to Aurelian Soul. They had to draw two dragons. And Soul's made a bunch of Celestials. Yeah, so this is a summon effect. So I could, I could have Hourglassed it. It comes back. I get another Golden Ambassador.
Don't believe everything you hear. That's pretty great. The pretty great. Bow to me. Well, that was too bad. Lots of times where I need to write a negation, and I just never did. So my opponent played I do love an um, the one mana card to go get a moon weapon, and then moon weapon to get the two drop. The two drop was the mimic that copied Aurelian Soul. Yeah, so a really cool combo there with the Black Rose Spy with that. Um, yeah, opponent had opponent just had an awesome, you know, awesome hand. Like, yeah, they those both those Ravis flocks were perfect. They curved out really well with um, you know having the uh, Eclipse Dragon into a really soul, and then they had that nice combo there with the Black Rose Spy. It was gonna be my plan. I mean, I didn't have much of a plan, but my plan was to try to siphoning strike it, and then you know, have Ride Negation finally for protection, but. Uh, alas, they got me. Um, the, both those ravenous flocks kill my two champions. Really necessary. I think that... So, again... Again, uh, we found that Shreema was really powerful. Again, you know, we ended up going 3-2 and two, uh, instead of 4-1 this time. But still, the Shreema deck was, was very powerful. I was very happy with it. Um, but I, I do think I would just like Nasus a lot more than Renekton right now. We found throughout all those games... If you watch those, it was so difficult to level up Renekton, and that's that's my problem with Renekton right now. It's it's just too difficult to level it up. I don't I don't think we basically ever did, and there was a lot of times where I just I needed to for the um for the Sun Disc, and I just couldn't, and it was just too difficult. We had the one siphoning strike to try to help it, but that it wasn't enough. And so that's why I'm not a big fan of Renekton was was how difficult it was to level this thing up. And besides that, the and so that, that's why I prefer the Azir Nasus version that you know I played I played the other day. Um, I, I really prefer Nasus because Nasus is huge and much easier to level up both of those. And the difference between playing Renekton and playing Sandspinner um, really isn't <laughs> unfortunately isn't isn't much. And it's not and that's not a slight against Renekton. It's just that's how powerful Sandspinner is right like sand spinner is so powerful that it's like basically a champion <laughs> you know renekton's great but it's like so sand spinner so that's why that's why i like the azir nasus version uh because you know it's not much of a step down going renekton to sand spinner but then you also get the super powerful nasus but the main takeaway though is shirima still really good you know we had really exciting games there and uh, i think that mono shirima is is definitely a deck that you can play at the top of the metagame and have a good amount of success with. I've been very happy with this this Aerophant. I know I I am the big I'm the biggest Xenotype researchers fan in the world. You get that plus three plus three. It's really cool. It it feels so great getting like when you draw something with that plus three plus three. But honestly, this this uh, card, this esteemed card, really does make a big difference with the Sun Disk. Th those three rounds really do make a big difference. So I've I've been very happy with this card. So there we go. So that's. That's another very good quality um, Mono Shirima deck. All right, so those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there. And of course, as always, feel free to leave those comments. Let me know what, what's your favorite champion combination with the Mono Shirima. If you were playing the Azir Nasus, how is that going for you? Or if you're playing uh, this version with uh, Azir and Renekton, how's that going for you? Um, yeah, I'd love to see those comments. All right, but thank you so much for watching some Azir Renekton. And I will see you for the next video.